pull-up, one of the best exercises and the fundament of calisthenics. If you click this video, you most likely want to get your first pull-up, or you just want to improve your pull-ups. But no matter which is your case, you will find this video helpful. So let's start from the beginning. So the first thing, if you're heavyweight or just skinny fat, try losing some weight, it will help you. Because less you need to pull, easier it becomes. But during the losing fat phase, still practice your pull-ups. So for example, if you're struggling to hang under the pull-up bar for over 10 seconds, just try practicing it. But don't do the dead hang. It's good, but you can do it better. Start from practicing the active hang. To do it, just contract your back and shoulders like this. Because in opposite to dead hang, it will not only improve your grip strength, but it will also improve your back strength, which is beneficial while doing pull-ups. It may seem hard, but you will get used to it over time. I would recommend to do it every time you feel like it, but still try to practice it every day for at least 2 minutes. So for example, 12 times 10 seconds or 24 times 5 seconds or 6 times 20 seconds or 2 times 1 minute and so on. So just adjust it to yourself. Of course, you can and should practice it more. When you will get to about 30 seconds of active hang, you should start practicing negative pull-ups. So just stand on something like a chair, grab the bar and slowly go down. But do not drop, control the movement and then do 4 sets of 5 to 15 every day. Just like with Hank, adjust it to yourself, don't rush it, make it comfortable. And of course, if you feel really sore back or just really bad, give up for 1 or 2 days, it won't make that much of a difference and your muscles actually need rest to grow and get stronger. Plus, this way you won't get injured. And remember, we want to do a strict pull-up, so have a grip just a bit wider than your shoulders. Don't keep, at least not too much. Go fully down and get chin above the bar. We want the good looking, full beneficial pull-up. And if you are still too weak to do 10 seconds of hang, try wall pull-ups. It may seem dumb and funny for lots of guys, but trust me, you need to learn the movement, you need to empower the muscle and mind connections. So don't listen to your ego, you need to do what you need to do to get the results. And of course, if you are doing this, remember to focus on the muscles that work during the pull-up. And of course, it's still an easy exercise for about everyone, so if you're doing this, do 4 sets of 25 to 50 pull-ups, I mean wall pull-ups. If you are a bit more advanced but you still can't do pull-ups and negatives are really hard for you, try muscle strengthening exercises like on ground pull-ups. To do it, just grab any kind of stick or a band and simulate the movement that you would do while doing pull-up. This will help you learn the proper muscle contraction during the pull-up. Plus, it's great for shoulder health. Back shrugs. To do it, just transfer between dead and active hang by contracting muscles. Rows. In case you don't have any equipment, just get a backpack, I know you have it at home, put some water bottles in there and just row it. You can also use resistance bands. And remember, you can make it more difficult just by adding some water bottles into the backpack or by using stronger band. Australian pull-ups. If you are lower, it's harder. If you are higher, it's easier. And once again, try to find the set and rep ranges that suit you the most. Of course, don't forget about the warm-up and progressive overload. If you do all of this, you should get your first pull-up in about two or three weeks, depending on your starting point. So well, that would be it. If you find this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe and comment on what would you want to see next. So, see you later.